In the past two weeks, there have been almost 200 earthquakes in Yellowstone National Park. This is just a sign of something significant happening in the U.S. Yellowstone is known for sitting on top of a massive supervolcano. Scientists are now finding out more about what's happening beneath the park, which is causing many earthquakes. People are wondering if this could lead to a catastrophic eruption, as some have predicted, or if there's a bigger mystery hidden in the geysers and hot springs. We're going to explore these tremors and see how they might affect the world. This is a big deal in the world of science, and experts have some mind-blowing discoveries to share. But first, let's go back to the beginning of Yellowstone. It was established as the first national park in the U.S. on March 1, 1872, by President Ulysses S. Grant. It's not just a park. It's a massive volcanic area with unique features like Old Faithful and the Grand Prismatic Spring. This supervolcano has erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years, causing huge problems for the planet. If it were to erupt again, it could have catastrophic consequences. Think of it as a major explosion that could cover entire continents with ash, disrupt the global climate, and cause widespread damage. A volcanic winter, caused by sulfur particles in the atmosphere, could make things much colder and lead to food shortages. So, is the Yellowstone supervolcano waking up, or is it just showing its power without erupting? To find out, we need to look at the geology of the area. Yellowstone sits on a hot spot in the Earth's mantle, and the recent earthquake activity is quite close to where the last massive eruption occurred. Seismologists and geologists are studying this closely, but for now, they're telling us not to panic. The earthquakes are normal for a place like Yellowstone, which is geologically active. Yellowstone's unique features, like geysers and hot springs, are indicators of what's happening beneath the surface. There have been hydrothermal explosions in the past, and these are almost like annual events, although they can be dangerous. In 1989, there was a big explosion at Pork Chop Geyser, and today, we can still see the remnants of that event. There was also a massive explosion 3,000 years ago that left a big crater. The region's landscape is fragile. And when you add in the seismic activity, it can lead to landslides and other changes. The Hagen Lake earthquake is another event to remember. It was the most massive earthquake in the area and led to significant landslides, even creating Quake Lake. The earthquake caused damage far beyond Yellowstone, affecting infrastructure, roads, bridges, and buildings in distant places. It led to better monitoring and preparedness in the area. As we try to understand Yellowstone's secrets, there's another aspect to consider the behavior of the park's wildlife. Bison, in particular, have been acting strangely, sometimes even attacking people. There are also reports of grizzly bear tracks near a deceased woman, suggesting a bear attack. While it's not clear if this is related to the recent earthquakes, some experts think that animals may sense things that we can't. After all, they've been living in Yellowstone alongside its geological activity for a long time. Research is ongoing to see if there's a connection between animal behavior and seismic activity. Given the geological activity in Yellowstone, there is a real need to monitor and understand potential threats. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and other organizations are working on a monitoring plan that will help keep an eye on the situation. It involves both existing and new monitoring techniques to track seismic events, land changes, and the behavior of the thermal and geyser areas. This is all about making sure we're aware of what's happening and prepared for any geological threats that might arise. But there's more to the story. Join us as we uncover the serious consequences of a potential Yellowstone eruption, a twist that could change the course of human history. Surprising studies have found not one, but two magma chambers under the park. The first one was discovered in the 1980s, and now they've revealed a much larger second chamber. These chambers could fill the Grand Canyon 14 times. While this doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is more likely, it does provide a continuous energy source for the park's geothermal features. So, what is there so much excitement about America's iconic national park? Yellowstone has been experiencing a lot of earthquakes lately, especially around Yellowstone Lake. This has both scientists and the public on edge. Are you prepared for this seismic revelation? On March 28, what seemed like a small tremor with a magnitude of 0.7 set off a surprising chain of events. 
In just 12 hours, there were over 60 earthquakes ranging from 0.1 to 3.7 in magnitude. Two of them were even above 3.0 with the strongest hitting 3.7 at 824 MMDD. While these quakes had seismologists at the University of Utah and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory closely monitoring the situation, there are still smaller tremors that need further examination. Let's face the facts. Earthquakes in Yellowstone are not uncommon, making up a significant portion of seismic activity in the Intermountain West. But this recent series of earthquakes has reignited concerns about a potential game-changing eruption that could transform the park. Here's the shocking part. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States, experiencing between 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes every year. While most of these quakes go unnoticed, this recent increase in activity has everyone talking. An eruption in Yellowstone is the stuff of doomsday scenarios. Imagine an enormous explosion, with the park's natural beauty destroyed, landscapes altered, wildlife affected, and even the famous geysers disappearing in a volcanic storm. The potential human cost is immense, with millions of annual tourists, local communities, and towns at risk. According to a chilling model, the ash from such an eruption could affect up to three out of every four Americans, with potential casualties reaching 90% within a 1,000 kilometers radius. The big concern here is the ash. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it could release massive amounts of ash that would cover large areas of North America. Places like Missouri and Texas might get over 10 centimeters of ash, while areas closer to Yellowstone could be buried in meters of it. But that's not all. An eruption wouldn't just change landscapes, it could also have a major impact on global weather. Huge volcanic gases could lead to a cold volcanic winter, dropping global temperatures by up to 12 degrees Celsius. This would cause problems like messed up weather patterns, reduced crop yields, and food shortages around the world. We can learn a lot from history's past volcanic eruptions. Now, the big question is whether Yellowstone supervolcano is getting ready to erupt or if it's just showing its natural power. To figure this out, we need to understand Yellowstone's complex geology. It sits on top of a geothermal hotspot, where a column of magma rises from the Earth's mantle. This hotspot is pretty rare, and the recent earthquake activity near where the last major eruption happened has experts wondering if something big might be coming. But for now, they want to be clear. There's no sign that an eruption is about to happen. Earthquakes in this area are often linked to movements of fluids and gases beneath the Earth's surface, and that's just a natural part of being in such a geologically active area. Yellowstone's geothermal wonders, like geysers and hot springs, are not only beautiful attractions, but also important signs of what's happening beneath the surface. One of the things that can happen is hydrothermal explosions. Imagine super hot water beneath the Earth's crust turning into steam suddenly causing violent eruptions. In Yellowstone, there are different kinds of these explosions, which are a bit like tantrums from geysers. They happen almost every year and can be dangerous for people watching. Remember 1989, when there was a hydrothermal explosion at Pork Chop Geyser in Norris Geyser Basin? You can still see the leftover rock debris today. And if we go even further back, a massive explosion 3,000 years ago created a crater in the park. But it's not just the explosions. The park's delicate terrain, combined with weather and seismic activity, can also lead to landslides. These landslides can block roads, isolate parts of the park, and become dangerous for hikers and drivers. When you add earthquakes to the mix, it's a recipe for changing hot springs, geysers, and even more landslides. Going deeper into the mysteries of Yellowstone, we remember the Hebgen Lake earthquake. Are we about to see history repeat itself? This earthquake was a massive one, with a magnitude of 7.5, and it caused enormous landslides. One of these landslides was so powerful that it blocked the Madison River, creating Quake Lake. This massive landslide moved at an incredible speed of 100 miles per hour and carried about 80 million tons of rocks, earth, and debris. It swallowed a campground and tragically took 28 lives. The effects of the earthquake spread far and wide, damaging not only nearby areas but also distant places. Infrastructure within Yellowstone National Park was also affected, making it difficult for visitors and operations. 
The impact on the park's geothermal features was significant. Geysers that had been quiet for a long time suddenly came to life, and the usual patterns of geothermal activity changed. Even the famous Old Faithful geyser altered its eruption schedule, and new springs and fumaroles appeared. This earthquake prompted a reevaluation of the seismic risks in Yellowstone, leading to better monitoring and preparedness. The U.S. Geological Survey played a key role in these efforts. As scientists continue to uncover the mysteries of Yellowstone, the world watches with curiosity and concern. Could the park's wildlife hold the key to understanding its secrets? Yellowstone's vast landscapes, from dense forests to open grasslands, from hot geysers to icy streams, are home to a wide range of plants and animals. However, there have been unusual encounters between tourists and the park's wildlife, especially bison. Recently, a bison attacked a woman, even though there were warning signs. Another unsettling incident occurred on the Buttermilk Trail, not far from West Yellowstone. Grizzly bear tracks were found near a deceased woman, suggesting a fatal bear encounter. Authorities have closed off the area to ensure the safety of both humans and bears until August 25th. While investigations continue, it's unclear if the strange behavior of the wildlife is connected to recent seismic tremors, but some experts believe that these animals might sense things that are invisible to us. After all, they have lived in this area for thousands of years. The idea that animals can predict earthquakes is not new. There are historical accounts of animals acting strangely before earthquakes, such as dogs barking persistently or cats seeking cover. In Yellowstone, this connection between animals and the environment might run deeper. The park's unique combination of geothermal activity and seismic events has been a constant presence, and wildlife has evolved alongside it. Bison, in particular, have a strong connection to the land. They visit geothermal areas in the colder months to find warmth and adjust their migration based on the geological features of the land. Could their changed behavior be a sign of shifts in underground magma chambers? Are they detecting hidden environmental changes? Researchers are investigating these questions to uncover the links between animal behavior and seismic activity. Every aspect, from animal actions and river flow to geyser eruptions and tectonic movements, might be interconnected in ways we are only starting to understand. Given the ever-changing geology in the area, we need to take potential earthquakes and volcanic eruptions seriously. So, we're doing everything we can to understand, keep an eye on, and minimize these threats. There's a new plan for monitoring Yellowstone's volcanoes and earthquakes, and it's a joint effort by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, and their partners. The goal is to improve how we watch for and assess risks in the region. This plan has two main parts, backbone monitoring and hydrothermal monitoring. Backbone monitoring looks at the big picture. It checks for things like earthquakes, land changes, and other geological events across the Yellowstone Plateau. This network includes tools like seismographs and GPS units to provide real-time data from underground. The plan says these facilities will get upgrades and improvements over the next decade. Hydrothermal monitoring is the new part. It focuses on Yellowstone's hot water and geyser areas. By keeping an eye on things like temperature, pressure, and the makeup of the water, we can understand how the hydrothermal system behaves. This can help us spot unusual changes that might signal geological activity. Organizations like the University of Wyoming, the U.S., Geological Survey and the National Park Service support this monitoring plan because they know how important it is to keep an eye on and manage the geological risks in the Yellowstone Plateau.